Hi guys, I'm Ti Hua from Miser Biker and today we're going to do a bike tour. I'm going to show you a local bike shop in the east of Singapore. Uh, this bike shop has been around for quite some time. I remember when I was a kid, about 10 years old, it's already been around. So 20, 20, 20 over years, it's still around doing strong. So I believe most of you will already guess which shop that is. And that is the Tay Cycle. And Tay Cycle actually carries the giant bicycles they are the authorized uh, retailer of giant bicycles so let's go and see okay so they actually carry a lot uh, of different type of bikes mainly the mountain bikes they've got also hybrid bikes and road bikes and even some children bikes so we'll try to show you as much as possible of the different bikes and the specs and prices that we can see here but uh, just a disclaimer because uh, we are more of a uh, road riders so I'll just briefly tell you as much as I know for all the other bikes and go more in depth onto the road bikes which I am more excited about. Something interesting from the outside you can see here is a Leaf Flourish 4 and it is a city bike so you can ride it on city roads, concrete roads and you're going to be very comfortable with a without a top tube so you can actually for ladies or even for guys you've been getting up and down of the bike it has got no problem with this type of design and it's a very nice price at only $520 very affordable and using pretty decent Shimano parts 7 speed I'll say a 6 uh, it's a 7 speed so and a single speed in the front so it's a very simple very straightforward bike that you can use for your daily commute and I mean price is really I would say acceptable not too expensive now this one next is quite interesting to me is another it looks like a city bike and a mountain bike that is crossed together and makes it looks very sporty while going on a city uh, it is the Videlo step and it's one thing on a 27.5 this 27.5 stands for the tire size this bike looks very sporty to me with the big tires these brakes and I can imagine the ride will be very comfortable it's going to be a very upright posture really good something that I may want to own for a daily commute All right so this student bikes uh, price range for about three ranging from 380 dollars to 750 I see that actually as you go it's got some different type of frames for different ages as well like for example this is more for you can give you can get this one for a little girl while for your boys you can get them something more rugged and uh, mountain bike like with more features that really look like a real adult bikes okay let's take a look at the bikes inside and uh well, first we start off with the mountain bike range let me orientate you first to how we see uh, the text here on the bikes so we have the talent tree 27.5 talent tree is the model 27.5 is the wheel size metallic black that is the color and it also comes with a tracking green color side by side makes it surprise and the size of the frame here you can see this is large so what is the talent tree the talent tree is a entry-level mountain bike here you can see the components that you use is a hardtail mountain bike and with a suspension fork it's the suspension fork is the SR Suntour suspension fork uh, equipped with a Tektro hydraulic brakes and a mix of Shimano parts of, for its shifters and derailers as for the crank set it's a pro wheel so this is a very basic setup for mountain bikes we got a 2 speed in front and a 7 speed freewheel at the rear the spec that you see is actually capable of bringing you to some trails right but if you want to get some get more serious about trail riding then you probably need a the better the specs on the mountain bike but for 680 dollars i think this spec is quite justifiable over here we see the talent zero and 27.5 wheel size again but talent zero now you see that the number gets smaller and here for giant the smaller the number we actually see a trend is getting more and more expensive but that means it's actually fitted with better components on the bike better specs basically and let's see what is equipped on this bike or well, the group set itself is actually 
different. Without using Dior, it's a, probably a, it's a twelve speed. Yep, it's a Dior twelve speed. So it's one speed in front and twelve at the rear. Now, very stark different that you see is the gear ratios, and suddenly you see the front, the crank chain wing become very small, and the rear for the cassette is getting much bigger on the light gears. That only means that you can climb a mountain or climb up any hill with a lot more ease as compared to the Talent 3 early on. Now, other than that, we also see upgraded bottom brackets, all the components. Very obviously, is the, sus the front suspension. Now, it uses air suspension, which is a very big upgrade, and Shimano wheels. Uh, here we see a much more expensive bike now it's going three thousand two hundred dollars and it's the xtc advanced 3 gu 29er now this is a 29er means it's, the wheel size is actually 29 inch uh, for mountain bike there's 26 27.5 and 29 so depending on your usage and your build of course compared to previously the talent joe is 1250 for that additional two thousand dollars what are we getting here is a carbon frame a rock shocks suspension better wheels a shimano wheel sets upgraded shimano wheel sets even better tires and shimano hydraulic disc brakes okay hidden among all the mountain bikes here is the escape to this brake and this is a hybrid bicycle so for those of you who are looking for something uh, in between of a mountain bike or road bike, this is the go-to bike that you, you can consider. It's fitted with a 700 wheel set with 38 mm tires. That makes it very comfortable. It's wide enough for comfortable riding. And at the same time, the rolling resistance is much lower than the fatter tires that you find on the mountain bikes, which makes this bike very suitable for both using in the city roads like for us, in our context, we can use it on PCNs as well as for some light off-roads like if you want to go to Coney Island. As for the component-wise, this one comes with a 2 by 8 speed. So 2 in front and 8 speed at the rear with the Shimano shifters and Shimano derailers. Tektro hydraulic disc brakes. So in my opinion, this bike is actually a very good daily commute bike for city goers like us. Okay, 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 no, no, no. Now is uh, our exciting playground. It's a road bike section, okay, which is where we are more interested in. The first bike we see here is a TCR SL2, $1,950. It's still under $2,000. Under $2, and what does it stand for? SL, which is, it means super light. Okay, but super light, and this is aluminum frame. TCR family is basically a all-rounder series so you can actually use this bike for a lot of different purposes like you can go and climb some hills as well as run on flats it can this guy can do a lot and the component of this bike is using the Shimano Tiagua group set it's a full group set so from shifter to crank set to derailers it's all Shimano Tiagua except the brakes I'll notice that we see here the size it says ml and it gives a good indication for you and that is for the height the rider's height of 177 to 187 cm so i think this is very considerate so for for the riders when choosing their bike do you know that ml is for you or not the next bike that we see is the tcr sl1 it's black and silver color black and silver tone medium size now for this one the tech is just right medium doesn't give you an indication of the suitable height of the rider but just feel free to ask uh you ask the staffs here they'll be happy to help you and this is a two thousand one hundred fifty dollars so as compared to the sl2 it's two hundred dollars more but let's see what are we getting out of this bike now the most distinct difference that we can see from here is the group sets the sl1 is going with a shimano 105 group sets almost full group sets less the crank set itself moving on we spot this uh, quite an eye-catching bike here and it's not giant you see the brand here is leaf now leaf is a sister brand of giant and they build bikes especially for lady riders so for 
uh, the sizes are actually very the, the sizes and the designs are very custom to the build of a lady and for those of you who are lady riders out there if you find it's very difficult to find a road bike of your size this could be the go-to brand for you you can come and check it out now this is a leaf Langma SL2 and it's at $1,800 the component wise it uses a full Shimano Tiagra group set so again this is a aluminum frame and uses a rim brake next we see this is the Giant Content SL1 this and it's at $2,300 so the Giant Content is a uh, endurance bike and it's running on a it's not a full Shimano 105 group set again it's just it's got a shifter and it's got the uh, derailers are all Shimano 105 less the crank set which the crank set is not Shimano it's just not the 105 series now something to highlight about this bike is that it's actually running on the hydraulic disc brake so the hydraulic disc brake integrated on the shifter itself also the wheels are actually capable to be fitted up to 32 mm tires that means you can actually go to more rougher terrains and running or you can actually run on lower tire pressures lastly let me point out to you that it's actually the, the content has got this defuse system defuse technology built into its frame and that actually make the bike more stiff and absorbs more of the vibration that you pick up on the road when you're riding so overall this bike the setup the design allows you to go for longer distance with a lot more comfort here we see the tcr advanced 2 this pc now whenever we see a advance on any of the giant models it actually means you will see carbon on it and this in particular have a carbon frame carbon fork and when you smell carbon now you see the price is three thousand and two hundred dollars well me this is a medium frame fitted for 171 cm to 181 cm riders it fits me let's take a look at the components a 105 again all right now 105 group sets less the crank set itself and running on hydraulic the 105 hydraulic disc brake and one unique feature that i want to point out to you for this a TCR advanced model is the down tip. I uh, might notice that the down tip is actually small squarish and it's actually wider. Now other than allowing you allowing the bike to be more stiff and pick up less vibration when you're riding, it also able to cover a normal the size of a normal water bottle. And that is very important because it reduces the aerodynamic drag that is caused by the water bottle finally the TCR Advanced 2 also comes with tubeless ready wheel sets and for those of you who want to run on lower pressure on a tubeless tires this one is already able to do it off the shelf right so here is what I really like about the TCR family because its design has got so much thoughts and details in and unlike the old endurance bicycle or old all-rounder bikes this newer version of all-rounder bikes has got a lot of aerodynamic details built into its frames what does that mean is that now you can actually go you can still go very fast and at the same time go very comfortable on long distance now here we see the giant propel advanced to and this is advanced see again if we see advanced that means it's carbon this is a full carbon bike three thousand two hundred dollars xs frame what is so special about this bike is that it's an aero bike you can see it's the you can see the name arrow stamping everywhere around the bike from its frame to the fork even the brakes these mini V brakes are hidden, they are blade like and they are hidden right behind the fork. Also, even the seat post is aerodynamic. Right, the group set itself is a full 105, full Shimano 105 group set. Now, for those of you who are craving for speed, 
those of you who run TMCR every day, like nobody's business, this is the go-to bike. So you can see some cycling bibs here as well as cycling shorts for mountain biking. Different brands, they got the Leaf, Giant, all these are their in-house brand, but well, in particular, this is interesting. Uh, they've got this, well, Per Izumi Cold Shade. So this is actually a very, I've got, a, I've heard a lot of uh, really good uh, reviews on these bibs, but I personally haven't tried one because $170 <gasps> Well, my butt is not so premium <laughs> yet Here on this wall, you see a lot of tires from their mountain bikes and they're mainly using Maxxis tires and so they've got a full collection of Maxxis tires Crossmark, High Roller For the road tires, they've got Swabby, Victoria and our, our favourite our favorite is the Continental tires Right, so all this a uh, very good name road bike tires. When you're buying some bikes, right, it's also good to keep yourself some spare tubes and learn how to change them, just in case you got a flat while riding outside on the road. Some cool likes that uh, just to remind you for local regulation, you need to have run and rear likes while you're riding now, especially at night. Water bottle cage, uh, so it's a very essential equipment that you have to go with. Multi tools, uh, well, something that you should bring out with you on your rides, and a full range of bicycle pumps that you can bring along on your ride. You can mount it onto your bikes and bring it out. So, because having a flat tire in the middle of rides is really a very common situation. So, they do carry a lot of tow picks, and they got an in house giant brand, and a big range of water bottles. They got a good collection of uh, gloves half gloves as well as full gloves zero this is something that people don't like to keep it at home but i always encourage you to have one at home and have the floor pump instead of just using a small hand pump or the small hand pump you can bring it out with you on the right but at home please it's better to use don't kill yourself use a big floor pump and with tire pressure gauge and here we carry topic brand which is very reliable as well as their in-house giant brand this comes with an electronic a tire pressure gauge. All right, thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoy our first visit of a local bike store, which is not owned by me, and that's the Tay Cycle. Now, personally, I think that Tay Cycle carries a lot. Uh, the, the giant bicycles that carry by Tay Cycle is of very good quality, and they giant basically putting a lot of efforts into their design and the technologies of their bike. Even little details such as hiding their cables into their frame is what really makes their bike very uh, unique and very special. Now, uh, on top of them, I think that the price of their bike is very affordable as compared to other loan brands in the market. Well, do let us know what you think of our bike tour today and if you have any feedback or anything that you want us to improve on, anything that you didn't see just now and you would love to see, do let us know so that we can do it for our next shop tour. Alright, so thanks again. Do remember to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.